at another very famous hadith, which I, I hope gives some sense of the extraordinary nature of the person. Uh, Anas uh, ibn Malik related, I served the Prophet وسلم, for 10 years, both on journeys and while at home. In no work I ever did, did he say, why did you do that? Or in anything I did not do, why did you not do that? Now I think if we, if you're anything like, certainly myself, that's actually almost impossible to imagine. Anas ibn Malik narrated that he presented himself before the Prophet وسلم, while he was in his room resting on a bed made out of date fibers, which left a mark on his body when he got up. He had a pillow beneath his head filled with date peel. Umar, radiallahu anhu, subsequently the second caliph, came in then and observing the bare room devoid of furnishings, began to weep. The Prophet, blessing some peace be upon him, said, Umar, why do you weep? Omar said, O Messenger of God, I only weep because I know that you are the most honoured of all in God's sight, and that Chosroes and Caesar have no standing before God. Yet those two live a life of luxury in this world, while you, O Messenger of God, live in the conditions in which I see you. The Prophet وسلم, said, O Omar, are you not content this world is theirs while the hereafter is ours? Omar said, I am content with that. The Prophet said, for it is so. And I love this very famous 